Oh, drop the pie. <gasps> that is such a mini horse. Oh my god. What in the horse? There's two of them. <gasps> Hello, gorgeous. Ape it, Dylan. Time for the intro to my videos. Just make weird noises with your mouth. Ba -na 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 -ba 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 -na -na -ba -ba Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Harmony Hollow. And boy, do I have a lot to show you guys today because I've been a busy little bee off camera and on streams, and I've built a ton of my castle for you guys to see today. But before I can show you guys the castle, we need to get into some business with our dog. So as you guys know, in the last episode, I decided to use my doggy charm and we got a dog. And I asked you guys what I should name my dog and I got a ton of awesome suggestions, but at the end of the day, I only had to choose one of them. And I loved this name based off the theme of my castle, which is Peach's Castle from Super Mario. So I now deem you doggy Yoshi. Yeah, I like the name Yoshi, it fits, it's perfect for the theme of my castle, and I'm really excited to have Yoshi be a part of the family. So now that we have Yoshi, let me give you guys a quick recap of some of the stuff that I did on stream before I show you my actual castle. So I was able to go up into the clouds using my animal bike, and we found a few clouds, and as you guys know on clouds, there's sometimes inventory pets, and I managed to find a few more. So on those clouds, I was able to find an iron golem pet, a wolf pet, a spider pet, and a sheep pet, which is pretty freaking awesome because that means that I have more basically resources I can pull from. We also went into the nether during the last episode of, or no, during the last stream of Harmony Hollow, and I managed to grab a few uh, blocks of quartz as well as some netherrack, and I'm super excited today because guys, I get to show you my castle. We've been pranked by Cherry Debt, and I think we're gonna try and get some new talents into our dog using the Doggy Talents mod. All of that and more in today's episode, so let me get out of my backpack and head on up and show you guys my castle. All right, Yoshi, you're gonna stay there. I'm gonna grab Donna. Yes, my reindeer is named Donna, and oh, I'm really excited for you guys to see this because I worked my butt off on stream. All right, guys, once I turn around, you'll see it. Three, two, one, bada bing. Isn't that freaking awesome? It looks so good. Now we still have a little bit more work to do on the outside of it. I still need to add windows and whatnot, but we got the overall structure of it complete, sort of. Obviously I'm still working on some of the second floor, but that'll be a giant portrait. I'm not sure of what, but it totally resembles Peach's castle. Now, let me go inside and show you guys what Cherry did to my house. Oh, I'm not prepared. I, you can hear him now, you can hear. I apologize for all the animal noises. All right, so Cherry decided, oh, there's way less in here. Oh my God, did some of them die? There used to be a ton of animals in here, a ton. Why is that sheep not have any wool? So Cherry went through, okay, zebra, okay. Cherry went through and decided to go in and add a ton of animals into my house. There used to be a lot more animals in here. I think some of them may have died. I feel a little bit bad, but I need to contact Scott and see if he wants some of these for his zoo. Now, there were a ton of animals. My favorite animal during that stream was a polar bear. I didn't even know that polar bears were in the Mo Creatures mod, and I want a polar bear pet so bad. Even though they're gonna try to eat my face off, I still want one, because they're super cute. Oh my God, the guys, I can't stress that enough, they're so cute. But this will be the overall layout of the castle. The downstairs will be the living area, and the upstairs, I have a super secret plan in place that I think you guys are gonna like. So my plan is I wanna make a game show. Yeah, I know, it sounds weird but I want to turn the entire upstairs area, excuse you, Doe, excuse you. I want to turn the entire upstairs area into a game show studio that I can film episodes of a Harmony Hollow type game show in there where we'll have one versus one, maybe do some fun challenges. I don't know, I think it'd be a blast to film something like that up there. So I'll be turning the entire upstairs into a studio. We still have a ton of work to do on this. I'll probably work on this on stream though, so let's get on out of here. Oh, 
so many animal noises. And let's head back down and see if we can give our dog some doggy talents. So when I get a chance, I need to definitely get Cherry back in a prank. So if you guys have any kind of good prank ideas that haven't been done on the server yet, let me know in the comments down below. But it's time to feed Mr. Yoshi some treats. So as per the doggy talents mod, we need to give him some training treats. Oh, he's so excited to eat these. Do I just, do wait, right click? <gasps> Ooh, he's leveled up. Ooh, he's leveled up again. Oh, okay, wait, now wait. Now we have to figure out like what I want to do with these level points. Now there's tons of different areas. I don't know why it glitches out in the background, but there's tons of different things that we could use to basically make our dog OP. There is a village nearby and puppy eyes could be pretty cool because I am interested to see what types of gifts the villagers will give me if my dog is super cute. <gasps> oh my God, and then I could also ride my dog as a mount. That is actually kind of cool. You guys can't see it behind me, but this wolf mount allows me to ride Yoshi, which is actually pretty cool. All right, so I got all my traits picked out for my dog. I've got level two of Creeper Sweeper, I've got one level in Pillow Paw, so that way it doesn't take as much fall damage. I've got one point in Poison Fang, which allows it to basically poison things nearby. I've got three points in Puppy Eyes, and you know I got three points in Wolf Mount, because I think that's just pretty cool to be able to actually ride my dog. Here, wait. Nope, wait, 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 how, do, how does it work? To get on your dog, have an empty hand and jump and click on the dog to get on it. <gasps> okay, wait, let's see if this works, let's see. Oh my god, that is so cool. I'm riding Yoshi. That poor dog. That poor, poor dog. Does it actually use up nourishment? Ooh, and it hops pretty high. Oh, shoot, it can take fall damage. Okay, so definitely need to use Pillow Pet on it, as well as Wolf Mount, so that way I can jump high places with my dog if I need to. All right, you're good. You're good, Yoshi. You can sit down, chill, relax. I'll be right back. So guys, I've decided that I'm gonna put together a really nice gift for Ash because Ash was just so nice in helping me out starting off on this server. So here is some plans that I had in place. Let me place a few of these bad boys down because we're gonna need to smelt some sand into glass because I have a fun flowery kind of basket gift. That was a creepy sound. Flowery basket kind of gift to give to Ash. So I'm gonna smelt some of this glass that I just got. I don't even know why I made like so many different furnaces. Like that was so unnecessary. Why am I so extra like that? All right. So we're gonna smelt some of this sand and I'm gonna be turning it into flower terrariums because I think they're just so cute and they're adorable. I don't think you can actually place them but they just look really cute. And I already have in a basket over here, let me show y'all over here. I've got a flower basket and a flower basket allows you to basically go around and store a ton of flowers in it without it taking up a ton of inventory space in your inventory. And I know that Ash loves flowers and kawaii things, so that'd be a perfect gift. I don't know if uh, Ash already has a flower basket, but I'm gonna give her one anyway, and we just gonna see how this goes. All right, so I'm going around like picking flowers and this thing starts following me and it scared the living crap out of me. I had no idea that rabbits love, oh my God. So that's how you mate rabbits is with flowers. Also, you just ate my flower. So thanks for that. Oh my God, now I have this rabbit that's in love with me. Please leave me alone. <laughs> you creepy rabbit. No, okay, wait, here. Here's a few more that, oh, I thought they just took that from me. All right, I only needed four. Okay, please, please leave me alone, rabbit. Oh my God. What is up with all of these animals? Cherry's got a ton of animals in my castle, and now I've got a rabbit following me. <sighs> it actually scared me. I don't know if you guys, like, I don't know if I was recording, I don't think I was. And I was just walking around here gathering things, and then all I see is this, like, massive black bunny jump out of these trees, and it scared the crap out of me, because I thought it was, like, a mob, and I was like, oh my god, where's my sword? But no, it's, it's just a bunny, Dylan. It's just a bunny that really loves flowers. Well, I was right. It requires a grass block, and I have no way of acquiring a grass block. All right, on to plan B, I guess. So guys, I am having such a huge issue trying to figure out this gift for Ash that I thought I would get a little bit of help. So, Marielle, 
Where you at, girl? Da, 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 da. Hello. <laughs> I just made, decided to like do a little uh, it was, music for my intro. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I loved it. Hi, Dylan. How are you? We have okay. So we've met in person, but we've never actually yes. met in Minecraft, which is no. rare. <laughs> like I normally will meet people in Minecraft first and then meet them in person, but it's yep. the vice versa for us. I know. Oh, we're special. We are. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a good idea. So Ash helped me out tremendously early on in this series, and I wanted to pay Ash back. So I know that she likes coffee. I know she has tea time, but she let me know that she actually likes coffee a lot. And I know that Pam's Harvest Craft has coffee beans in it. So yes. I was gonna ask, do you know where I could get some coffee beans? <laughs> ah, well, okay, here is a tricky part. So Pam's Harvest Craft, we actually added this mod after we started okay. the server. So um, if we want to find coffee beans, because I don't have any, if I had, then I would gladly give it <laughs> to you. But since, since I don't personally have coffee beans, what we need to do is we need to fly away from spawn okay. and the areas that have already loaded and we need to load more chunks so then Pam's Harvest Craft can spawn. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, totally. That makes that makes actually a lot of sense. So which direction should we fly in then? Um, well, we can go any direction if you want to. I've traveled south and I have been able to find them. So we can keep traveling south and hopefully I can see it again yeah. or we can go in any other direction and just pay attention to the to the ground and see if we can spot any trees with fruits on them let's do that let's go south since right. you know that there's nothing dangerous out there let me get on my <laughs> donna come on donna let's go <laughs> let's go <laughs> let's go and we're off so one thing about these animal bikes that terrify me is the fact that if you accidentally push shift you fall to your death <laughs> yes Yes, that is why having a cloud inventory pet is very handy. But don't worry, you will get one oh, eventually. Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> like, we've already found four different inventory pets. You know what you, you could do? Um, what I do is I look for inventory pets, like either underground or in the ocean. Because you can find them on the ocean, like around the, like over here. Can you come back? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, I can show you. Yeah. I can show you the world. Show me the you're world. Flying. <laughs> <laughs> so over here, I believe this looks like a, yep, oh. this one right here. Weird, so I didn't if, even know you could so, find them under the water. Yeah, so a lot of people don't actually try to find the ones that are under the water. And most of the time you can find some good ores over here, baby, oh. baby. I'm coming, over here, I'm coming. So how, <laughs> so what does it look like? So it's just like these weird, like, indents in sand. Oh, mm -hmm. <gasps> exactly. You're right. And there's the mushroom pet. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm drowning. I am drowning. There you go. <laughs> I'm oh, not drowning. So, oh, okay. Okay, let's get to the surface, Dylan. A lot of times you can find diamonds. And if yeah. you if you find, uh, I think it's 64 diamonds, a whole stack of diamonds. Um, or if you collect, not find, but if you collect a whole stack of diamonds, then you can buy your own cloud inventory pet if you ah, want to. That's okay. another option. No, so. definitely. That's actually a good uh, investment. I'm, I might do that, actually. Here, let me heal up a bit. And let's go continue onward for our journey yes. for coffee beans. Coffee There's Pam stuff here. Yes. Yes, we found, oh my God, all these bird sounds and everything and dying zombies. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Let me make it daytime because I have the bed pit with me. So we can get rid of the zombies and anything evil that might try to kill us. Oh, all right, so ooh, that bird. Oh, girl. It went from like what? real cute, like... <laughs> really, really cute birds to like a crow, like Rawr! Oh, this is another lucky block. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I, this is... All right. Oh. I will do it from a Ooh, distance. No, I'm gonna die! Ooh. I'm trying... Come on, 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 Okay, we're good. Oh, I don't have water. I don't have water with me. There's Are water okay? over there. I'm running. I'm running. No. Oh, no. The one time I don't carry water. I don't no! Have no! 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 No!
<laughs> okay, well, if you could, I would love it if you could grab my stuff. Or you could do slash slash back. And oh, I can. can? Oh, back. thank God. Yes. That is totally oh. okay with the rules. Don't worry, you're, you're oh, fine. Thank God. I was like, oh, there goes all of our plans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And these are clovers, not herb gardens, correct? <gasps> a turkey. <laughs> you found a turkey. Oh. oh my God, it's a turkey. I didn't even know turkeys were creature and mo creatures. <gasps> Yes, and um, <laughs> you can totally use their meat to tame a fox if you want to. <laughs> I don't think you can tame the turkeys, but you can use their body. <laughs> oh my god. And then oh, there's like, is that a turkey or is that a vulture? What is that? That is ugly. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Oh, that. Yeah. Because I see one over here. These things are nasty. I know. No, that's, it's... A, that's a turkey. It's a female turkey. <laughs> Oh, right. it's a female turkey? I think so. I think the male ones are the ones that have the tails, and the females are uh -huh. the ones that don't, that aren't basically super extra with their appearance. Wow, I didn't know that. I just learned something. Thank you. See, look at me. I'm like so <laughs> educational. <laughs> so, guys, we have been able to find any coffee, but I told Marielle that I really want a polar bear butler. And in order to get a polar bear tamed, you need to get them while they're cubs. And look at this little guy, he's so cute. The only problem is, I think, yeah, it has to eat food, like meat food. Meat food, yeah. And did, did you try with the normal one? Like, I mean, the cooked one, it didn't um, work? Yeah, cooked didn't work, and I don't know if I have any meat on me. Hmm. Well, that can be easily fixed. <gasps> oh, there's bunnies. I'm so sorry, bunnies. I'm sorry, bunnies. It's for it's for science. Oh, this one oh, dropped the... high. <gasps> that is such a mini horse. Oh my god. What in the <gasps> There's two of them. <gasps> Hello, gorgeous. They're so <gasps> tiny. How is that possible? There's another one over here. Why are they so tiny? It's a family of little baby horses. <gasps> Where's your mama? <laughs> oh no! That is crazy. So here's the raw habit, uh, habit rabbit hide. And while you tame them, um, let me go ahead and go back, home, and they'll bring you a pet. Oh, amulet. it won't eat. Ra it won't eat it. Maybe oh, it has okay, to be like well, chicken I'm... and beef. I still have stuff over here. So I'm going to grab beef and chicken because okay. those are the things that I have available. And I'm also going to grab a golden lasso. No, never mind. I don't have a golden lasso because Scott didn't give it back. Ooh, you better beat him up. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So I have a pet amulet. There you go. Ooh, and and so that's, that'll, some... that'll store the... Polar bear, yes, inside of it. All right. Oh, Mr. Polar Bear. Oh, where'd you go? Um, I, I, you know what? I want the one that's over here because he. I tried to feed him. I can't feed him. <gasps> Are oh, no. you too old? No, don't break our hearts and hopes. No. I think they might be too old. <laughs> well, this one looks a, a bit smaller. Yeah, they're both not working. I have to ship okay, let me like... try here. Raw beef. Try raw beef. Okay. Let's see if that one works. Right, come here. Come here, you. No. That one doesn't work. Let's try this one down here. I can find any other cubs. No. <gasps> Sad day. Oh my god. There's a tiny. Wait, is that a horse or is that a, a bear? No, go away, polar bear. I'm trying to look. <laughs> Ooh, don't attack me. It's like a, it's oh, another it's tiny right animal. Oh, it's a tiny bear. It is. But it's oh a my brown God. bear. Oh, a little tiny bear, and he's sitting there. <gasps> Look how cute you are. And that it's one doesn't so also tiny. eat any food. This is like the land of tiny animals. <gasps> that cannot be tamed. <laughs> oh my God. This... I found that tiny leopard. Did you really? I did. Oh do I God. have any fish with me? <gasps> I do. Look at it. oh. it's so tiny. I wonder if I can feed him. Do it. Oh my god. See. It's no tails wagging. I can't. Kiko. Oh, <gasps> he ate it. He ate it. Oh my god, okay, you get like a little see. tiny pet. Oh, oh my god, you did it. You were, yes, what's yeah. my name? Here, here, take the take the pet amulet. 
Is that way you can, you can. Oh, so I can it. teleport him back home. Yeah. Yes. What should I name him though? Uh, something that's small, or maybe something big as an ironic name. <gasps> Conan. Yes. Like Conan the Barbarian. Oh, Conan, that's perfect. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Oh my god, it's He's so, so adorable. <gasps> Hi, baby Conan. You're gonna be a barbarian soon, aren't ya? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. And he's not even like evil, he's not mean. No, he's not, he's so tiny, he probably doesn't even have no. teeth yet. <laughs> I think our coffee adventure was a bust, but we did find the land of tiny animals, which is pretty freaking awesome. I might have to come back here sometime and look into finding an actual polar bear cub, maybe on stream and see if I can do that. But yes. I think we should head back so that way I can finalize my gift and get something, at least something to ash. Something. Okay, let's not run towards the polar bears, Dylan. So thank you so much, Marielle, for literally going on that crazy adventure with me and finding tiny animals. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I had a blast. I'm sorry that we couldn't find the oh, coffee. Uh, it's fine. But tiny animals though, yay. No, it's, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And um, hopefully I can find a little baby polar bear and I can bring him home soon. That way we'll have like a little butler thing, but you're definitely invited over to my house once I finish Peach's castle. And oh, thank you. I think uh, I think that definitely people are gonna love you because you are so adorable, especially with your adorable little accent. Like I love it. <laughs> Aw, you're so sweet. I love you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Marielle, and I will see you around. Yay! Thank you for inviting me. I had a blast. Thank yeah, you so much. No problem. <laughs> wow, talk about a crazy day today on Harmony Hollow. I'm not even exaggerating. Like I cannot believe that we found the land of tiny animals. Like, what even is that? So, Marielle, before she departed, decided to give me some awesome grass blocks. So, I'm gonna use these grass blocks to make some terrarium. It's not the best gift that I can give Ash, but you know what, it'll have to do for now. So, I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use some of the glass that I have already acquired. So we've got that, we've got that. We've got two, and then we've got six. Yay! Okay, so we've got six, so I'll, I'll put them like that. I'll put two of my azure bluettes that I found, and then maybe like I'll fill it with some more flowers and we'll give it as a gift to Ash. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Harmony Hollow. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below, comment down below your thoughts on this crazy episode, and I will see you guys in the future with a Harmony Hollow stream, as well as another episode of Harmony Hollow in the future. And until then, stay awesome, stay beautiful, you lovely people. Bye-bye.